it says the tangent of theta equals negative 4 pi over 3. OK? All right. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. No, there's no pi. Sorry. Just negative 4 over, negative 4 over 3. So in this case, ladies and gentlemen, um, what we need to do is we need to, obviously, we have something. We have a point that's not on the unit circle, right? 4 pi over 3 is not something that we discussed that's going to be on the unit circle. So what a majority of students do is they go ahead and draw a triangle. Um, sorry, let's write it like this. So that becomes an issue because what is negative, right? That means we have two possible triangles. We could have negative 4 over 3, or we could also have a triangle that is 4 over negative 3, right? There's two possible triangles, right? Tangent is y over x, y over x. So now what we need to do, ladies and gentlemen, is let's go actually go and look. I, I don't like writing triangles in this format when my, angle, when my numbers look like this. The reason why, Justin, is because what I want to do is let's go and write them on a Cartesian coordinate. If my, if my opposite side was negative, that means I'm going to go down negative 4, right? So it looks something like this. Or if my 3 was negative, it looks something like this. Remember, I'm always going to have my theta in my central angle about my origin. Okay, That's never going to change. But those are my two possible print. Both of these triangles produce a tangent of theta, which is negative 4 over 3. Does everybody agree? Okay, So therefore, I'd have to do this problem twice to provide both answers. We don't want to do that, though, right? Okay, We only want to do this once. So what we have is we have a constraint. And the constraint says sine is less than theta. Or I'm sorry, sine is less than 0. Sine of theta, I'm sorry, is less than 0. So in what quadrants, Ahmad, what quadrants is sine less than 0? I'm asking you, Ahmad. Exactly. Thank you. Elena, yes? Yeah, exactly. Sine is less than theta in the second or in the third and the fourth quadrant. So guess what? This triangle we're not going to use. All right. So now, here's the triangle that I'm going to use. And now, can I go ahead and use this to find the hypotenuse? Yes. yes. Hopefully, you guys know this is a perfect square, um, or Pythagorean triple. So therefore, that's going to be 5. So now, if I want to find the sine of theta, cosine of theta, and we already know what the tangent of theta is. So the sine of theta is going to be opposite over hypotenuse, which is negative 4 over 5. Cosine of theta, which is going to be 3 over 5. And the tangent of theta, we already said, was equal to negative 4 over 3. Then if I want to do the reciprocal functions, cosecant is 5 over negative 4. Secant of theta is 5 over 3. And the cotangent is equal to negative 3 over 4. OK? And that's it. Guys, there's way too much talking for you. Are you, are you